In this how to we are going to learn how to generate edit delete update and select button automatically these edit delete update and select buttons uh, are generally used in order to perform uh, crude operations create read update and delete operations uh, with the data in in the grid view and in this how to we will just learn how to generate these buttons and how to actually uh, perform this crude operation we will learn into the next how to so let us see this here so for that I am going to create one grid view on my ASPX page and here is my grid view as you can see let me just show you here now here you can see that uh, uh, my grid view has couple of extra property that you might not have seen till now uh, in the grid view videos and these are the first properties auto generate delete button auto generate delete button what it does is that it automatically generates delete button for every record in the grid view and then we have auto generate edit button auto generate edit button delete, uh, generates our <coughs> edit button for every record in the grid view and the same uh, will be changed when that record will go into the edit mode to update and the cancel button so in the normal mode it will be edit button and when that particular record will go into the uh, edit mode then it will become update and cancel button and uh, then the next uh, but, uh, is the auto generate select button this basically automatically generates the select uh, button or select link for every record in the gate view now let and now we are going to copy paste the code of the code behind for this page so let me copy paste the server set code as well here and yes here it goes now let me correct them out yes looks like we are done almost yeah we are done okay now let me uh, walk you through all the code that we have on this page in this page first is uh, we have underscore con str uh, page level variable that is basically getting the web config file connection string uh, uh, to, 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 to this variable using connect configuration manager dot connection string and then if this page will be loaded for the first time then naturally each post back will be false then we are calling get data method in this get data method again we are doing almost the same thing that we, uh, I, I was keep telling you earlier uh, we are uh, using edu dot net co uh, code to retrieve the personal detail uh, table records and populating into the table and that table is ultimately being uh, set as a data source of the grid view and then we are calling data bind method that is actually binding the data to the grid view and that's it now because we are not doing any other operation we are just uh, uh, seeing how to generate these buttons so let me run this page and show you how this page is looking like now when I run this page you will see that uh, all these three buttons uh, select edit and delete will appear into the first column you can see this edit delete and select is appearing for every record of the gate view now remember I was telling that uh, when uh, the record will be into the normal mode, mode then this auto generate edit button will display edit uh, uh, link in case we uh, we will convert that particular record into the update mode then the same edit will be converted into the update and the cancel button so let me show you that so for that we need to add some extra uh, summer event called on row editing equal to edit record and naturally we will have to write on row cancel also equal to cancel re record and now uh, let us uh, write those method here also or as well so protected void edit record object sender and grid view edit event rgs and uh, grid view one dot edit index equal to e dot new edit index and then again we will have to call uh, this particular get data method so that the record will be bounded again and now uh, because we have written one more method here call cancel record on row cancelling event so let me write that method here as well 
cancel record cancel record and this will be grid view cancel event argument and this here we will have to write minus one so that no record will be into the edit mode now let me run this page again now let me click edit when we are clicking in the edit uh, button you may notice that this the whole record is being converted into the edit mode so that I will be able to edit these records and notice that the edit is being converted into the update and the cancel link when I will click on the cancel then this will fire and it will make this edit index to minus one so that that particular record will will come into the normal world now we, we are going to see the remaining part like how to actually update and delete the records but just uh, uh, for this how to our purpose was just to display how to automatically generate edit delete and select button now uh, the the ben the use of this select uh, uh, button is that when we will click on select it will automatically select that record now when we, the record has been selected and if we want to retrieve it then what we can do is that uh, for that purpose actually I have written one button and on the click of the button we are executing get selected method and in the get selected method what we have done is that we have basically uh, res written response dot write selected record is equal to grid view one dot selected data key dot value so this will uh, give you basically the selected data key so in this case my key is seven here because I have written here uh, you might have noticed here the data key names has been written as auto id so the same auto id value of that particular record will be written you can see here selected record 7 this same is nothing but this so this is the way uh, we can generate uh, edit uh, delete and cancel uh, button in the grid view automatically